Hi everyone, my name is Denise Coughlin, owner of Red Loop Pilates and Wellness Studio and I'm coming back again today with another video for you all to practice at home. So as with all the previous videos, if you have any illnesses or injuries that may need to get medical clearance before you take part in any of these exercises. So for today's class, we're just going to need your chair and you want to make sure that you're comfortably resting into your chair, the back against the chair, really focus on lengthening through the spine. We want to make sure that the feet are underneath the knees, knees in line with the hips as close as possible to being in that neutral position. Just again, you want to make sure that you're comfortably seated against the back of the chair and really visualize lengthening the spine rather than slouching down into the chair. It's all about that nice upright lengthened posture. We want to relax the shoulders away from the ears, resting the head in line with the spine. So just imagine like if a book on top of the head, so the chin is parallel with the floor. We want to bring the awareness to the connection through the core, so very gently visualize the belly button coming towards the direction of the chair or towards the direction of the back of the spine. And we're going to hold that length and seated position, the gentle connection through the core, and we're going to start connecting with the breath. So we're inhaling through the nose, and exhaling through the mouth. Breathing in for five, four, three, two, one. And the same on the exhale breath. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. Just visualizing the shoulders relaxed away from the ears, nice long distance between the shoulders and the ears so we're not elevating. And you can relax the arms either down by your sides or onto the front part of your thighs and continuing to focus on that nice long deep breath. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. Visualize the rib cage expanding as you inhale and contracting on the exhale breath. So we're going to stay in that nice lengthened posture and we're going to come into a very gentle warm up and we're going to start off with some head nods. So we're going to inhale, look down, lengthening into the back of the neck without leaning forwards and exhale looking directly ahead of you. Inhale looking down, lengthening into the back of the neck and exhale looking directly ahead of you. So just very gentle movement without forcing the neck. Good. Inhale coming down into the head nod. Exhale looking directly ahead of you. And we're going to do one more time. And then coming back to center, we're going to look over the shoulder as you exhale and inhale coming back into the center. So head rotations, just again, just mobilizing through that neck, the cervical spine, nice slow and controlled movements. Let's do two more times, keeping that lengthened posture. And one more time. Coming back to center. So we're going to tilt one ear to the shoulder and then coming back into the center. So try not to raise the shoulder to the ear, it's ear towards the shoulder. So just a small tilting, head tilts from one side to the opposite side, just to feel that nice length and stretch coming into the side of the neck. And let's do one more time. And then back to center again slowly, relaxing the arms down by the sides. We're going to come into that tilting action again, but this time we're bringing the spine with you. Just a lateral flexion, tilting to the side, reaching the hand down towards the floor, but not feeling like you're falling off the chair. Nice controlled movements. Exhale and inhale. Good. Keep sitting nice and tall in the chair, grounding the weight into the back of the chair or into the seat so you don't feel like you're falling down. Good. And let's do one more time. And then back into the center slowly. We're going to elevate the shoulders to the ears and depress the hands down towards the floor. We can add in a calf raise, warming up through the ankles. She should be a little bit more familiar with the warm-up now, as we do it week by week. So elevation, depression, you might find that the more you do these movements, you're going to increase that little bit of range of movement. It becomes a little bit freer to do the movement if they started off quite stiff. 
Okay? So let's do one more time. And relaxing down, we're going to do shoulder rotations. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. Nice, slow, controlled movements. Focusing on that mobility through the shoulders. We're going to change direction. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the mouth. Nice, slow, controlled movements. Good. Two more times. One more time. And releasing down slowly. We're going to reach the arms ahead of you for your protraction and retraction. So we're going to inhale, reach the arms ahead of you. And exhale, draw the shoulders back towards the back edge of your chair. So again, we want to make sure that we're not changing the position of the spine. We're just moving through the upper back and shoulders. So we're not leaning forwards. Keeping it nice and slow. So we're going to add in that single leg stretch if you want to, just stretching the leg as you stretch the arms, taking the leg back in as you take the arms, the shoulders back. So just moving through that knee, through the hip, a little bit of a stretch. It's almost like you're just lifting ever so slightly off the chair with the leg to create that lift. So you will feel a little bit more into the hips. Good. Two more times. And one more time. And releasing down slowly. Good. Let's take it into prayer position underneath the chin for your spine twist. We're going to exhale to rotate. And inhale coming into the center. So we're rotating through the center part of the spine. So if you can, just bring yourself a little bit more into an upright position. So you're slightly away from the chair to give yourself a little bit more room to move. Going through your own range of movement, if you want to add in a bit of a hip release, step the leg out to the side. Just a little bit of a hip opener. Going to the same side as the same side that you're twisting towards. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Good. So you want to keep your fingertips underneath the chin so that way we know the head is staying in line with your spine. Let's do two more times. One more time. And release it down slowly, just giving the shoulders a little bit of a roll. Okay, so we're going to finish off with your spinal flexion. So very gentle head nod and start to peel the spine forwards, coming down as low as you feel comfortable. Staying back into your sit bones, your bum into your chair, and lengthening up one vertebrae at a time. Bringing those shoulders back. Good. Head nod. Curling the spine forwards, only to wherever you feel comfortable. And lengthening up one vertebrae at a time. Good. So nice, slow, controlled movements. Visualizing taking the spine down one vertebrae at a time. And building it back up, lengthening through the spine. Good. Two more times. And lengthening back up. One more time. And lengthening back up. One vertebrae at a time. Good. Okay, so we're going to come into a little bit of a spinal rotation. Like what we did in the warm-up using the fingers underneath the chin, but it's not going to be in this position with the hands. It's slightly different. So we're going to go opposite hand to the opposite leg. So we're going to take opposite hand to the upside outside part of the leg. And we're going to take the other hand and reach it back behind you. And then we're going to come back into the center again slowly. Two hands just touching to the side of the leg. Okay? So this hand that's on the side of the leg is slightly pushing in on that leg. So it's like you're trying to touch the knees together, but we want to keep that gap there between the legs. So it's just a little bit of resistance against the hand on the leg. And then we're going to reach the other hand back behind you into rotation. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. And then coming back again slowly to your starting position. Inhale. And exhale. So we just want to feel a nice stretch coming across the pectoral muscles of the chest. And we're coming into that rotation through the center part of the spine. Good. Nice and slow and controlled. 
So you don't want to put pressure on that knee. We're just trying to nice stretch on that leg or stretch on the arm, just holding onto the side of the leg. Good. Just imagining like you're trying to reach back behind you for something and really feeling that open stretch through the chest, but making sure you're not putting any pressure on your neck or your shoulders. Two more times. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. And then coming back around to the center slowly. Good. So we're going to change sides, opposite hand to opposite leg. So we turn the palm of the hand to face in towards your leg, just to the outside of the leg. Second hand on top. Inhale to reach. And exhaling to center. So again, just make sure that you're not pressing the leg in towards the other leg so they're touching. There is a slight gap. Inhale. And exhale. Okay? So you're just going to your own range of movement, just feeling that nice stretch and rotation through the center part of the spine, lengthening the spine so we're slightly coming away from the chair, we're not sinking back into the chair, so keeping that long spine, good, keeping it slow, inhale and exhale, two more times, inhale, and exhale, one more time, good, and back to centre again slowly. Okay, so we're going to change that one slightly. If you don't want to bring in the additional leg sequence, you can go into the same sequence again, opposite arm to opposite leg on the other side. So what we're going to do is we're going to change sides again. So the side that we're on now, we're on the other, other leg, and we're going to take this leg if you can. You can use your hands as assistance to help bring the leg up and over. You can reposition that bottom leg a little bit more centered. So it's like you're folding your legs over each other, okay? Cross leg seated position. So this time we're gonna do the same again, opposite hand to opposite leg, but this time we're more kind of hugging that knee in towards you, okay? So you're using your hand, not directly on your kneecap, just slightly below, and hug the knee in towards you so you feel that little bit more of a stretch coming into the side of the leg. Same again. We're going to inhale and exhale. Okay, so as you're rotating, hook that knee in towards you. So coming in towards you, and we're reaching the opposite arm away. Okay, so just a nice gentle stretch. So as I said, you don't need to do this part with the leg. You can just focus on the rotation through the center part of the spine. But this is going to bring in a little bit more of a stretch along the side here. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Inhale. And exhale. Let's do two more times. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. And coming back to centre again slowly. So you can use your hand to help assist the leg down. And we're repositioning back to your starting position. So you might find that you can do it on one side but not the other side. So just make sure you just change it to how you're feeling on that particular position. So we're going to change legs. We're going to keep the bottom leg down on the mat. More reposition to centre. Take the other leg. Cross it over. Okay. So just making yourself feel comfortable in that cross leg position. Make sure there's no pressure on your bottom knee. Okay, so opposite hand to opposite leg. So it's just like you're hugging the arm around the leg. Don't hold directly on your kneecap. And just really hug in towards you so you feel that stretch already coming into the side of that leg. Rest the other hand on the top of the other hand. And we're going to inhale. And exhale. So remember, as you're rotating and reaching this direction, this leg is hugging in towards you. That's a really nice stretch. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do two more times, taking those shoulders away from the ears. One more time. Good. And then taking that foot down slowly, 
Place the leg back down, reposition the legs back to centre. So again, keeping that nice lengthened posture. We're going to alternate that doing the two sides, but this time with the arms in front of you. So you're going to stretch the arms ahead of you. Inhale to reach, and exhale to centre. Okay, so it's the same movement, but we're going to keep the arms raised. So this brings in a little bit more challenge through the upper back, shoulders, and the arms because we're holding the arms raised as you do this one. Okay, so if you find this one too hard, it's the same movement in the spine twist that we did in the warm up. Okay, so nice and slow and controlled. Good, two more times. Turning the head into rotation. One more time. And coming back to the center again, slowly releasing the arms. And we're going to give those shoulders a little bit of a roll. Good. Nice deep breaths. Inhaling through the nose. And exhaling through the mouth. Make sure you change direction. Good. Okay, so we're going to take the fingertips touching. We're not interlinking the fingers, we're just touching the fingers. And we're going to take them towards the center part of the head, okay? You shouldn't be touching the neck. So like this one that we do in the warm-up, you can use that as an alternative one if you want to, instead of this one. So we're going to do a seated ab prep position. So again, fingertips touching, draw the shoulders away from the ears, thinking of that one vertebrae at a time, same action that we do in the warm-up but we're not going to come all the way forwards and lengthen the spine up one vertebrae at a time. So this gets quite tiring across the upper back and shoulders because we're keeping those arms in that elevated position. So if you find that it gets a bit too much of a challenge, just let it rest down and give the shoulders a roll. Okay, so I'm going to do the side on just to give you a little bit of a better idea. Okay, so again, the hands behind the head. What we're trying to do is, as we're coming forwards, we're going to scoop out, think of an ice cream scoop, scooping out the abdominals. So the spine is coming back towards the direction of the chair from the upper, or from the middle to lower back area. The upper part of the spine is flexing forwards, and then we're bringing it back up on top of itself again. Okay, so gentle movement. Exhale and inhale. Okay, go through your own range of movement. You want to think of that abdominal area. Think of the lower rib cage and the top part of the hip bone and we're really trying to contract through those two points as you're coming forwards and back into your upright position. Good. Nice and slow and controlled. Exhale. Inhale. Okay, let's do two more times. And lengthening up, you're going to really feel that on those shoulders, keeping the arms in this position. Just watch the neck. And lengthening up. And release it down. Good. Always take it back to that shoulder roll, just to help loosen out around the shoulders and the neck. Inhaling through the nose. And exhaling through the mouth. We'll change direction with those shoulder circles. Good. And then release it down. Okay, so we're going to add on to that one. If you want to, we're going to add in a little bit of a leg raise, okay? So we're going to take one leg up and one leg down. So we're just trying to raise the knee up towards the ceiling. The foot is coming off the mat as well, so you can really start to feel this across the front part of the hips and thighs again. The quads and the hip flexors. Okay, so that's the leg sequence. A lot slower when we bring in the upper body, okay? So you can add that in, you don't have to if you don't want to. So again, fingertips touching, or what you might want to do is to just do the legs and not do the top part. So fingertips touching, center of the head, nice long spine. We're going to bring it forwards, and as we're bringing it forwards, we're also going to bring that knee up towards you. And then release it back down, bringing the spine back up to neutral. Exhale. And inhale, exhale, and inhale, lengthening up. Okay, so you can reduce your range of movement. You don't have to come all the way down. If you try and come too far forwards, you're going to feel like you're falling forwards. So you want to keep your weight back into your sit bones, into the back of the chair. 
with your bum into the seat of the chair. Okay, so really try and relax your neck and shoulders. Good, two more times. Exhale. Inhale, one more time. And release it down, okay? So you will find that one quite challenging. And coming back to those shoulder rolls. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the mouth. Good. Nice, long, deep breaths. Okay, releasing it down slowly. So we're going to rest your right hand just along to the side. You can leave it on your thigh, but if you can reach it down towards the direction of the floor. Left hand is coming up. And we're going to inhale, reach over. And exhale, coming back down slowly. Okay, so we're reaching the right hand towards the floor. And the left arm is reaching over to the right. Okay, so what we want to try and do on this one is to feel a nice stretch coming along that left hand side, but we're contracting around the right hand side. Okay, so one side is getting a stretch and one side is contracting. Inhale and exhale. Okay, so always remind you to keep your weight centered. So when you're reaching out to the right, you want to make sure that you're still grounding or keeping that sit bone into the chair, okay, into the seat of the chair, we don't want to feel like you're falling off to the side. Okay, inhale, nice upright posture, let's do it one more time, reach the hand to the floor as you reach the arm over, tilting the head in line with the spine and coming back to centre, let's change sides, inhale and exhale, inhale. And exhale. So always feel nice and comfortable, nice and sturdy in your chair. Shoulders away from the ears, okay? So we're not really trying to contract across the shoulders and the neck. We're just trying to relax them as much as possible. And visualize that movement coming from around the side here of the um, out obliques, around the abdominals, the waist area. And we're tilting the spine sideways. So you're only going through your own range of movement, keeping control of the legs, so they staying in line with your hips. Okay, let's do two more times. And one more time. Good. And back to centre, taking it back through to the shoulder rolls again. Okay, so if you want to add in the leg sequence, we're going to add that in next. But again, you can repeat the same upper body sequence again without taking in the leg stretch. Okay, so if we are doing the leg stretches, I want you to come slightly more forward onto the front edge of your chair. But always make sure that it's sturdy, you don't feel like you're falling off the chair. Okay, so we're going to use your right hand down towards the side. The right leg is staying in a bent leg position, but what we're trying to do then is to really stretch and extend that leg out to the left hand side. Okay, so a nice straight leg stretch again, come forward a little bit more into your chair if you need to. The leg doesn't have to be straight out in line with the hip, it can be slightly more ahead of you, but we want to try and get a nice straight line here if you can, and the other leg staying bent. Hand to the side, hand raised on the other side. We're going to inhale. And exhale. If you feel you need to, you can use your hand on the leg so you feel a little bit more secure. Or you can use the hand onto the side of the chair. Okay? So we're just trying to really stretch one leg away out to the side. If you have the mobility in that hip and you can take the leg back further, you can. It's all up to how you're feeling at that particular time. So you're going to feel that across that hip here as well because um, the leg being back in that position is causing that area to contract. So if it feels uncomfortable, just take it back in again, okay? So that's fine. So it's your own range of movement. With or without the leg, just always feeling comfortable. One more time. And coming back to the centre again slowly. Good, let's change legs. So back into the center, make sure you're onto the front edge of your chair but you don't feel like you're falling off. We're gonna extend the other leg out to the side. Really trying to stretch that leg. You'll already feel the stretch on that inner thigh slightly onto that leg. We're gonna inhale, reach over 
and exhale, coming away. Okay, so you can use your hand on your thigh, to the side of the chair, to the side of the floor, and you don't have to do the leg, you can just do the arm sequence again. Inhale, exhale, good, inhale, exhale, two more times. Good. One more time. Okay, so now we're going to alternate the sides. So you can go just with the arms. Okay, if you want to leave your arm down by your side, you can. Or we're going to add in the legs as well. Okay, so remember if you're reaching over to the left hand side, you're stretching the right leg. Okay, so it's opposite arm um, or opposite side stretch to the opposite direction that the leg is reaching towards, okay? So we're going to go with the right leg and the right arm going over to the left with the arm, okay? So inhale, exhale. Stretch and reach away. Okay, if you can't get your leg to fully stretch, you can just do the hip opener. So you don't need to go to a full straight leg position. You can just open the leg out to the side in a bent leg position. But if you can, we're going to extend that leg away. And give yourself time to go into that stretched position. Good. Nice and slow and controlled. Two more times. One more time. And coming back into the centre again slowly. Making sure we're taking it back into the chair again. I'm just going to give those shoulders a little bit of a roll. Okay, so so far we've brought the spine forwards into flexion. We've done a little bit of rotation and we've done a lateral flexion to the side. So we're just going to focus on a nice extension this time on the spine. Okay? Good. Okay, so we're going to start off with the arms in a frontal raised position. And what we're going to try and do is to go with the palms facing forwards as the arms come back, okay? So we're going to inhale and open out through the chest, okay? So we're lifting up to the ceiling, extending the spine. And then like as if you're sweeping against water, we're going to bring the arms ahead of you. Inhale, open and extend. And exhale, sweeping back to center. So palms the hands facing inward. So we're back into that neutral position. Up onto the sit bones, nice long spine, gentle connection through the core, inhale, open, and expanding through the chest, and exhale, okay, so you don't want to throw your head back behind you, we're just opening out, lengthening through the front part of the neck, okay, so the head is slightly extending, coming up in line with your spine, and then bring your head back to centre, in line with your spine, inhale, and exhale. The arms don't have to go really high, it's just a small movement. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more times. Inhale and exhale. One more time, and release it down slowly. Well done, and we'll give the shoulders a little bit of a roll. Okay, so as I was saying, we move in your spine in different ways. So we have the rotation of the spine, we have the extension of the spine, we have the flexion, and then the lateral flexion. So it's just really about trying to move the body in as much different directions as we can to increase the range of movement, the flexibility and the mobility. Okay, so you might find one particular way of moving the spine is a bit more difficult. So always just remember to go through your own range of movement. Okay, so we're going to finish off now with a little bit of a breathing sequence. So you can keep your hands resting on your thighs, palms facing upwards or down, or relaxing them down by your sides. Just make sure you're comfortably seated into the back of the chair. You can keep the eyes open or the eyes closed. And just taking the awareness to the breath. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. 
and visualize the rib cage expanding as you inhale and contracting on the exhale breath. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. So we're going to take the breathing sequence from your natural count of 5 up to 10 and working from 10 back to 5. And at any stage if you feel like it's getting a bit strained or you have to hold breath, just pull it back to a breath cycle or sequence that feels comfortable for you. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. So we're going to start off with the 5 second count. Breathing in, two, three, four, five. And breathing out, two, three, four, five. Breathing in, two, three, four, five, six. And out, two, three, four, five, six. Breathing in, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And out, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Breathing in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathing in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Breathing in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Breathing in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Breathing in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathing in, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And out, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Breathing in, two, three, four, five, six. And out, two, three, four, five, six. And back to in, two, three, four, five. And out, two, three, four, five. And continuing just to stay with the breath. Somewhere between the five and ten that you feel comfortable to stay at without counting it. Just allowing your body to naturally inhale, exhale. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Nice long, controlled, deep breaths. Feeling the difference in the breathing when you take it back to your natural breath. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. take the awareness back into the room again, into the chair that you're seated in now at this very moment in time. We're going to just bring some movement back into the body if you want to stretch out the fingers, wiggle the toes, move the legs, you can stretch the arms, any way that feels comfortable just to get some movement back into the body again. And if you've had the eyes closed, you can open again slowly, getting the eyes adjusting to the light again. And then just release it down slowly. Well done. I hope you enjoyed today's video. So it's just again, just bringing through as much range of movement into the body as we can, but always remember to take it through your own range of movement not to what you see me demonstrating. So if you need to ease it back slightly, you can, or if you feel like you can do a little bit more of a stretch, you can, always go through your own mobility and range of movement. So thanks again for joining me again um, this week for today's video. And I'll be coming back to you again, hopefully for a couple of more videos. Um, and if you have any questions as normal, my website is down below. You can send me an email of any feedback or anything that you might be, like to see introduced into the videos for the next couple of sequences. So I'll chat to you all soon. Thanks, guys.